Hi, I'm James. I'm back to introduce our medium velvet nodal head. Uh, this design is to support up to 50 pound loads. It works just like the previous head we showed you, the large, except that it's now one-sided. So we have the exact same bearing technology for both our pan and tilt axis. These particular bearings are um, very stable under all different sorts of environments from very, very hot locations to very, very cold locations. So you can really use this head in any place. And when you're done at the end of the day, wipe it off and go do another shoot later. So just like our other models of nodal heads, this is completely friction-based design. So there is no fluid-based um, dampening system. Now the advantages of something like that is a very smooth motion that rivals the feel of a fluid head, but without the weight and added maintenance that's required. These use, again, a, a sliding sleeve element that is completely lubrication free, very low maintenance, and also totally silent. On each axis, both the pan and tilt, we have a damper and a brake. So the damper allows you to increase the resistance of your motion or decrease the resistance of your motion. So as you twist this knob, a small resistive material applies pressure to the bearing and actually makes the motion harder to complete. Now if you frame your shot and you find a place where you want to lock the motion, we have a break as well. So unlike traditional heads, a nodal head works by having the axis of rotation through the optical axis of the camera. So this allows you to do full 360 motions as well as large tilting motions. Now on our design, we have an adjustable camera plate. So this will account for differences in the height of your camera. And simply, by loosening the screws on the back, you can adjust it so that the optical axis is perfectly aligned. Another aspect of our design is the mount, which we sell. Um, this mount comes with the ability to mount 150 millimeter, 100 millimeter, and 75 millimeter half ball adapters, as well as an ability to mount directly to a Mitchell tripod. Now, if you don't want to use a tripod, you can simply pick up this handle and use it as a hi-hat independently. This hi-hat is also compatible with our entire line of glider products, as well as the new line of Galaxy platforms. So in terms of load capacity for this particular model, um, we are aiming for the 0 to 50 pound range, so you can start with a small DSLR will certainly work, all the way up to a basic broadcast camera of this size. As you can see, we offer about 6 inches of adjustment on our camera plate, so even the taller cameras with a very high optical axis can still benefit from the nodal uh, capacity of this head. While this is a prototype, we plan to offer a fully adjustable handle as well as a hand actuated brake. So one last thing I want to show because it's, it's really a cool feature of this product. Um, I, I took the camera off just to show you how easy it is to switch from your tripod directly to something like a skater. So drop it in, close the skater, and now you get shots along the ground. Now you can do this exact same thing with all the products on our line, whether it be a glider, the new Galaxy system, or the standard tripod mount that I showed you before. So with our single latch system, it's as simple as and dropping it into place. So in a matter of seconds, I have a fully functional glider and head set up um, just by simply placing it into the clamp. And this clamp design works on our entire line of products, the gliders, the skaters, as well as the tripod as I showed you before. So we're really excited to release this product. Everyone at NAB has been extremely excited about it. Uh, they like the fact that they can get a full functional head in a package that's under 10 pounds or close to 10 pounds um, and at the price point for which we're offering it.